So when we talk about the transformation of healthcare, and it's a little ironic that we're here in October of 2020, and this journey started, as I think back, over 25 years ago, and 25 years ago this month. And so as I stand here today in October of 2020, getting ready to break ground here on the University of Maryland Upper Chesapeake Health Aberdeen campus, think about the opportunities. We have 60 acres of property here. And as I stand here in the building and, and canvas the landscape, you can just feel the sparks and the energy present and to anticipate what that will look like we purchased this with an existing 93,000 square foot office building that we're going to repurpose to outpatient um, medical offices that will then support and be connected to our freestanding medical facility. The project here includes uh, a behavioral health inpatient hospital, uh, an FMF, which is an emergency room with triage, observation, and then all the ancillary support services that you would anticipate in a hospital. So that would be lab, imaging, pharmacy, and then all the administrative support services that go along with that. We're going to be developing the medical office building in two phases. Phase one is going to begin immediately. When the FMF comes on board, we'll have then have a unified connected property. We are excited to have in this campus the future proof that this the healthcare actually deserves. We partner with uh, a lot of our medical staff leadership to start thinking not for the needs of today, but for the needs in five, ten years, and making sure that we're prepared to meet those services that our patient needs. So it is my hope and expectation that as this facility opens, it will be the latest example of the continual investment in the health and well-being of the communities that we serve. The citizens of Hartford County should look at this in 2023 as simply the latest example of the continuous process of evolving healthcare delivery so that we can deliver on our promise to keep our communities healthy. It's been exciting to have University of Maryland partner with Upper Chesapeake. Uh, that whole change has been great for the system. But as a growing metropolitan county, Harford County is really one of the big seven jurisdictions in the state of Maryland. So as we grow, our health care uh, needs grow also, and, and citizens uh, really expect to have that kind of health care when they're in a growing progressive county. I've been really happy to be part of the relationship building between the Upper Chesapeake University of Maryland Medical System team uh, and the city of Aberdeen as we've been working on getting this project, uh, the former Merritt property right here on 22 in Aberdeen, going from a stagnant location uh, with no movement for a handful of years to being one that's really gonna be a, a great project, not just for the near term, but for the long term of healthcare delivery in the region. Very exciting to continue to be on this journey of really transforming healthcare. And transforming it not only from a care delivery standpoint and a location standpoint, but from an access standpoint. When I think of what we're doing here in Aberdeen with our freestanding medical facility, something that didn't exist until just recently, this building to me is representative of the future and the evolution that healthcare must go through to properly take care of our friends and family and neighbors. But Upper Chesapeake is a proactive organization. And for me, uh, this building symbolizes being proactive. This building symbolizes being innovative. And it also symbolizes the, the thought that our senior leadership and our board has put forth to making this day possible.